Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cozy Girl Fancy Nails podcast. I'm your host, Michaela, and I'm so, so excited that you are here listening to this episode. It makes me so happy, and I'm so happy that you're here, and I hope that this podcast brings you joy today and that you enjoy yourself as much as I did enjoy making it for you. So without further ado, let's hop right in to the episode. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cozy Girl Fancy Nails, the podcast. I'm Michaela. (laughs) I probably already said that in the intro, but it's fine. I think I'm still in the habit of doing that, but I'm trying to have like just an intro for the podcast. So that way I'm not having to intro it every single time. Um, But yeah, I got a new chair. I'm so excited about this chair. I saw one on like online for $2,000 and then I you can like screenshot things and then put it into Amazon and so Amazon will like scan the photo and then pull things up that look like whatever you're wanting in that photo so I wanted the chair and so I found something for $300 and I was like okay that's more reasonable than $2,000 uh and so I was like planning on getting that and then I went on Facebook and somebody was getting rid of this chair for 40. So (laughs) I was like, let's go with this one for now. And we will work our way up to one of those other chairs. Um, The one on Amazon may have not been as comfortable though, just based on like the reviews and things I saw. I don't know, but we'll still work our way up. It was cute. (laughs) Um, but yeah, I like this chair. It came with like an ottoman. It's so comfy. I feel like I can like actually be cozy while I record the podcast and not like sitting straight up. That was my problem with the other chair is that it was cute and it looked like it was cozy, but I was struggling to sit in it. Like I couldn't sit how I am in there without my foot falling asleep or something. So I'm so happy about this chair. I'm so happy that, um, I have this cozy chair. Um, but trying to set up in here was kind of hard because of this window. I'm using the window light for the podcast. So when the chair is not in front of the window, it's dark and it doesn't look good. And it's just, yeah. So I'm ready to move. (laughs) I'm ready to go. Uh, the planes also are acting up today. So you know, ready to move for that reason as well. But we have a cozy chair and that's all that matters right now. (laughs) So speaking of cozy things, I want to talk about cozy things you can do in the summer. I feel 1000% not cozy in the summer most of the time because of the things that like, I don't know, it's just too hot. It's sticky where I live. It's humid. Um, so it's just not fun for me and if I'm not in the water it's like no I don't want to be there so this summer I found some cozy things to do and I wanted to share them with you for the people that are like can we be done with summer just as much as me (laughs) because you can see I'm here drinking pumpkin spice flavored coffee. I have found a pumpkin spice latte creamer at Target. Thank you for putting it out in July. Um, and I went and pulled this mug out and I was like, you know what? I don't know why we can't just have the pumpkin mug out all year. Like what's the, what's the, what's wrong with doing that? But I do like putting them away because it makes it feel more special when they do come out. Um, I'm one of those people that like, I would love for fall to be all year round, but then it wouldn't feel as special for me. So I'm like in this like back and forth, but in July drinking pumpkin spice latte and drinking out of my pumpkin mug in my house. So nobody can have an issue with it. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited for fall. It's just around the corner and yeah, I'm moving and we'll be in a new spot for fall. Like, uh, it's just going to be a good, good fall. I think I said that last time, but I have my, uh, notes up here again because, oh, let me change this. 
I have my notes up here again because I'm trying to be better at being like structured in my my uh <laughs> podcast and not just kind of all over the place so this is really helping so yeah and then just redoing like my content and everything that's also been really helping is like putting my content out putting my ideas out and then as I do them like writing scripts for them or like typing like this is what I'm gonna put on the screen or whatever and just really planning them out and not just being like oh I need a whole bunch of content like it's quality over quantity over here so my current faves are my pumpkin spice latte cream I I told my husband I was like we're gonna have pumpkin spice everything for the rest of the year I said it jokingly because he was like making like a lavender syrup or something for his coffee and I was like pumpkin spice only <laughs> so yeah I have that my coffee's actually cold but I wanted to put I wanted to put it in the uh podcast because I think the mug is so cute um I told somebody I got it from Target but I'm pretty sure after looking at it again I didn't I think I may have gotten this from Hobby Lobby but I found a very very close like they almost look identical from Target for five dollars so I'll put that link in the description for you Okay. Um, yeah. So another current fave is Animal Crossing. I've started my island over so many times. And right now I'm like trying to make sure that if you've played Animal Crossing, you have to get uh, this like famous singer dude to come onto your island. And then once you do that, it gives you like the rest of the tools to like make your island like five stars like you're like working toward a five star and so yeah <laughs> I am currently working towards getting the guy to my island because I want my to be able to play in the fall like fully and do the little events and things that they do in the fall but I want to be able to like decorate everything like fully so I've been like on a mission to like get as much money as possible pay as much things off build plant farm do all the things that you can in Animal Crossing to get my island up but I've been really like sucked to it and my switch looks so cute there should be I think it's oh wait no it is this week I have all my content scheduled y'all but this upcoming week I have two videos two like shorts or reels um that are coming out about me like customizing my switch and I'm so excited so you guys can see it then um one probably came out yesterday and the next one will come out tomorrow so keep your eyes peeled for that uh so yeah some cozy cozy things you can do this summer one that I found and when I say cozy, I mean like relaxing, something that like I can just chill on, something that I can like close my eyes and feel good. That's what I mean by cozy. And then there's also the cozy that's like this chair where I'm like sinking into it, where I can get comfortable, where I don't, sorry, something on the camera died. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there's just a bunch of different types of cozy. And for the summer, I think I think when cozy is like sweaters and socks, but for the summer, it's just how can I get my mind to a place that of ease? Because I feel like we can get so busy. Like people are like, oh, it's summer. Let's do this. Let's do that. Like we've been, me and my husband have just been all over the place doing all the things, hanging out with all the people <laughs> in the summer. And, um, he, I don't know if he's really introverted, he might be the one that's like in between, like he wants to be with people, but then he's also good by himself. To me, I love people, but I find the best company with myself. <laughs> I am I love, I'm an introverted, I'm a homebody. I am just here. So, uh, I'm just kind of like, I'm ready to like chill out. So I just need a, pl a time to relax, a time to like, just not think about things, a time to like not stress about anything. And these activities that I've done this summer have certainly done that for me. So the first one is the beach. I fortunately live right next to it, though I have not been to this beach that I live right next to. <laughs> The, at all this summer I don't think yeah not at all I've driven past it I've like ridden past it I've probably walked past it um been very close to it 
but not gone. I drove like 25 minutes away like twice to go to one that's still in Virginia Beach, just not when you think of Virginia Beach, it's not the one that's I live next to. Um, but I'm getting ready to move from it anyway, so maybe I'll use it more when I don't live next to it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I've been there and then I went to the beach in Florida and I got super burnt in Florida, but it was so nice because it was just me and my mom and my grandma. And then, uh, like, you know how you have family that you say is family, but they're not, it was like my sister, but, (laughs) but she's not really my sister, but she is. So that, um, and so we like all of us were on the beach and I put sunscreen on one time and got in the water got out of the water, didn't put sunscreen back on and was like out there for a long time. But I read, I like closed my eyes and kind of like just took a nap. I like, it was like, I'm relaxed, like I'm good. And even when I went with my friends, like that, those times were also really good. Even though I wasn't reading a book or anything, but I was just like sitting there and I was taking in the ocean. I was taking in where I was. And honestly, the beach I mean, not the beach, but the ocean is one of those things that just like kind of blow my mind. Like it goes on for miles and miles and miles, like on the surface, like what you can see, but then it goes down deep for miles and miles and miles. Like there's so many creatures, the way that physics are, the way that things are run underwater is so different than it's run above water. So it's just like, what? It just kind of blows my mind. But yeah, so just taking in where I was and like, it was just so relaxing. And I'm trying to do a solo beach trip at some point. I just keep forgetting, (laughs) but I want to go, I want to put my blanket down. I want to just read and just be and not have to think about anything. So that's on my bucket list before the summer is out. Um, let me go back trying to be keep it on track. Okay. The second thing is canoeing. If you don't see a theme here, I like to be near water. Um, water is just so cool to me, but I've only been one other time before this. And the first time it wasn't so relaxing because I had my niece in there and I was so nervous she was going to tip the boat. But after doing it with my husband, it's honestly, I feel like it's not that hard or it's not that easy to tip, but maybe that's just me. Um, so we went with my family, with my husband's family a couple of weeks ago and we, me and my husband got in a canoe. It was 10 bucks for an hour and we were just like paddling through the water and we were just talking and having a good time. And then even like with, um, my mother-in-law and brother-in-law were in another one and even just like riding past them or like riding with them and like having fun like it was there was no thought to like what oh what do I have to do when I get home there was no thought of like what do I need to do then what do I need to pay now what do I need to do tomorrow what do I need to do next week it was just like one of those things where you can just walk or not walk you're in a boat paddle down the stream and just like take in where you are the trees are covering you from the sun so it's nice and cool and it's just all around a such a relaxing time and then we were even passing people that like got a canoe or something went out far like back in the creek because not a lot of if you get a paddle boat you can't go past a certain point so the canoes and kayaks and things were going back there but there was people going back there and they were just like some people were by themselves some people just had like one kid with them and they were just having a good time and so um relaxing eating snacks just talking so i if you are okay with water and you don't mind just sitting and being i think those are two very cozy ways to spend your summer if I'm not, if I do say so myself. Okay. Um, I also really like to hike. I wouldn't say that's cozy, but I feel like doing like a picnic after the hike or even just like a picnic in general, like me and my husband on the 4th of July did like a hike slash picnic thing. 
and that was so nice we found a spot that nobody where was nobody was walking by and it was just like we were both just kind of sat there for a little bit and we're like And then it was like so nice. It was so nice to just be in a spot where you're not thinking. And I think when I say, when I talk about cozy stuff, I always am like, oh, it's not thinking. It's not thinking. But I think because our brains are constantly on and especially for like me and my husband, people who are entrepreneurs, people who do a lot of different things um, and have a lot of different ideas, sometimes you have to just remove yourself from where you are and turn your brain off from those things because you're going to lose yourself. You're going to like basically just be all in for this and nothing else. And that's something for me that I'm big on is taking breaks, being relaxed, not getting stressed out. And for me to be able to do that is to say, okay, we're going to do this this day. We're going to step away. We're not going to think about it. We're not going to talk about it. And we're just going to talk about life, talk about our futures, talk about, um, you know, what's, what's on our hearts, like just things like that, instead of just, you know, being like, okay, we're going to go do this thing, but Hey, I had this content idea and it'd be cool if you were on this content idea with me. Like there's a time and place. And I think when in the summertime for me, it's so easy to like continue to do those because I hate being outside anyways. It's because of how hot it is, um, unless I'm swimming or that's it. Honestly, that's it. <laughs> unless I can get in the water, like I really don't want to be outside. Um, so yeah, the I just, I can get on this really easy, like go, go, go work mode um, because I'm just inside all the time and I don't, feel the need to go outside because of how hot it is. (laughs) That sounds so weird and crazy, but it's true. It's how my brain works. And so, yeah, if you are like me and you love the fall and you're like, how the heck do you be cozy in the summertime? Those are some cozy things that you can do outside. If you want to do cozy things inside, keep your AC on like 69. I'm just kidding. We do not keep our AC that low. That's way too cold, but we do. It is cooler in here. So I'm able to wear my cozy socks. I'm able to wear a hoodie. I'm able to put my like blanket over my shoulders. And, um, if I'm talking about cozy things for myself, it would be playing animal crossing. That to me is like the best making cozy coffee drinks, uh, reading, painting, I don't know, all the things. It's probably a lot more fun in the fall. Not gonna lie, because you can open the window and have the nice fall breeze come in while you're playing Animal Crossing or painting or drawing or coloring or whatever. I just got this coloring book app on my iPad and I was like, I want to use my iPad more. What can I do? And I found a coloring book app and that I was like listening to a podcast and I was just coloring sitting right here in this nice cozy chair and I was just coloring and like, just having a good time. I was having such a good time just listening to my podcast and it was something to where I wasn't like, I don't know. I feel like most of the time when we do stuff, we're like, oh, let's listen to a podcast as we clean. Let's listen to a podcast in the car or let's, um, watch this informational thing and take notes. Like it was so nice to like listen and receive and like hear what was being told on the podcast as I was like just coloring or doing something. And if I remember correctly, I learned in psychology that when you're doing something with your hands and listening, you actually begin to remember more because when you start to do that motion again, it kind of like triggers something in your brain to remember that. If I'm remembering that correctly, if I'm remembering that correctly, that's, that's what that was. But yeah, so those are my cozy, cozy things. I, I, just wanted to talk something about summer for a little bit because I honestly am about to just be like, I'm in fall mode. Don't ask me about summer stuff because I don't want to do it. I literally, the rest of my August is pretty much planned out. Like I have no more room for anything in August and then September we're moving and then October will be full on fall and I will be it will be such a nice month because it'll be my birthday. It will be my anniversary. It'll be my dog's birthday. And I'm doing some fun things in October. And then in November, 
it'll be my husband's birthday, Thanksgiving in December, you know, it's Christmas and we're just going to do all the cozy things. So I'm so excited. And that's it for this podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm still working some stuff out. I can't have this as pretty and decorated as I want it to be, but it will be there very, very soon. Once we move, I'll have all the things. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy and we're still figuring it out. We're figuring it out as we go, but I thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening and watching and just being, you know, here for all the, all the trial and error things. But with all that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, day, morning, evening, night, and I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the next one.